Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. And to my Irish friends out there, happy St. Patrick's Day week. So I saved a little bit of coffee so that I could um, give you all a little toast. This was from one of my stamps that I used for some of my St. Patrick's Day cards. <clears throat> I don't have a whole lot of St. Patrick's Day stuff to make cards, but we did make a few. So you can go back and check some of those videos. I think we did them on Fridays. We made a couple little wobble teddy bear cards. But there are good ships and there are wood ships and ships that sail the sea. But the best ships are friendships and may they always be. So happy St. Patrick's Day to y'all. Since I probably won't get to talk to you again until next week. And even if you join me on Friday, that will be after our day of green. So, so happy Monday. I'm Diane from Boho Stamper and welcome. Today we're going to continue with um, some of the stamp bundles that Stampin' Up! has on sale through the month of March. These are um, these are available to you as a bundle with the uh, stamp set. Today we're going to use Hydrangea Haven. So you get the stamp set and the coordinating dies. And they have, let's see, one. I didn't tell you how many last time. Three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen bundles available through March. Uh, last week we used the Celebrate Sunflowers. Today we're going to use Hydrangea Haven and do a Mother's Day card. And along with that, the mini cut and emboss machine is on sale for 20% off. And these stamp and die bundles that are being offered work in the mini cut and emboss. So that's why we're doing that today. So save 20%. And um, in the catalog, <clears throat> very frequently there are coordinating dies for the stamp set, but they're not offered as bundles anymore. That's what's being so special about this sale. You can get them together at the discounted price. So I did take my um, stamps. Oh, I guess I should tell you the March shopping code. If you shop with Boho Stamper and use the shopping code through March, I have a thank you gift to send to you. So when you spend um, $50 or more in product, I'm going to send the Craft Stampin' Ink refill bottle, which comes in handy for some of the techniques that we've used. Um, which card did we do that? Oh, oh, the Coleman Camellia. We put some Craft Ink on our block and then used that with a blender pen and made a bleached look to our cards. So that came out pretty. And then with a $100, Purchase, I'm going to send you the white craft paint and the brushed the brass butterflies. So head over to Boho Stamper and check out those um, special stamp and die bundles. Use the shopping code and get a gift. So this is what our stamps create. This can be a two-step stamping where you would stamp your main image. And then I did do one um, of the small flowers down here so that you could see how it would look if you added the background stamp to it and added some additional color. It doesn't show up really well, but I used um, Highland Heather on top of Misty Moonlight there. So we can stamp the image and then create with that, or we can stamp the image and then use the fill stamp. This is a full strength stamp, and then this is a second generation or stamped off once and then re-stamped again so it comes out a little lighter. So this would be great for using as the background on our greeting. So we have some little tiny flowers and teeny tiny leaves. So we could make a small corner bouquet of hydrangea flowers. Or we can make a whole flower. I think today, and 
I don't have a card plan. I do have some things prepped, but I don't have a card plan. I took some <clears throat> Highland Heather and Fresh Freesia scraps, some little bits of paper that I had, and I saved one here. We'll, we'll do one together. And I just brushed it a little bit with some Misty Moonlight so that I could get that um, blue and purple look that hydrangeas do have that make them just so pretty. And I also have out, when this stamp set first came out as a bundle, it was a suite, we had the Hydrangea Hill Designer Series paper. And you could take just an image of this paper and make a card with it because it was one of those ones that's so pretty, you don't have to do anything to it, really. But we're going to use the stamps and buys today. And as I said, I don't know where I'm going with it yet, but we'll get there. And so the colors that were recommended. And you know, when you look at the colors that coordinate with your DSP, it just gives you an idea of where to go when you're making your card if you don't really know how to get started. Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather, Misty Moonlight, which will be retiring in April. So if you like Misty Moonlight as much as I do, uh, you might want to grab a pack of cardstock and maybe an ink refill for your stampin' pad if you have that. Uh, Mossy Meadow Old Olive Row Cocoa Rose, which has been retired. Seaside Spray Whisper White, which is now basic white. So, I'll put this piece of that cardstock I just had laying under there because with our time change, I had to go close the curtain. I was getting a pretty big glare in the front window here. Anybody else get messed up as much as I do off of that? You would think after all these years I'd be used to it, but my body still doesn't want to get used to the fact that it should go to sleep a little bit different and get up a little bit different. Oh, yeah. So, I took, um, oh, and I forgot to wipe off my mat, so I'm probably getting blue ink all over everything, including my hands. So I took a piece of Highland Heather. This was a little piece of Fresh Freesia. And I just took my Misty Moonlight ink pad, a blending brush, and just blended some blue into the purple. And this is going to give me that kind of mottled, um, not solid, bluish purple that we see in hydrangeas. And as the ink dries into the paper a little bit, it's gonna smooth out and just look pretty, look, look like a hydrangea flower. And I cut some of them out, but we will do a few more here. So in the dye bundle, there is a long strip of little flowers, so of course you don't have to cut this eight million times with one flower. We get a nice long strip of them, which also allows us to have color variation because it's going to grab different <clears throat> different sections of your paper that you just. Yep, my map makes my <laughs> my emboss machine slide all over the place. And then I just took my little flowers and saved them in a little dish. Cut that section off because it's a it's a goner. That one is. Um, let's see. Let's do a couple more of these light ones. I'll put the fresh freesia. Because I did mostly Highland Heather. And I want to have quite a bit of these because I want to add dimension to my flower. As I said, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to go with this yet. And you start out with these ideas in your head and sometimes they look like that when you're done and sometimes they don't. Okay. Alright. Now 
then let me see. How about, let's make a base. So that we have something to put these little flowers on. So I'm gonna use the dye that is the, just the big hydrangea flower. And I'll do it on that other piece of cardstock that I had inked up. I also think I want to use, there's a little tag die. In this set. And I don't think I ever used it on my cards, so I'd like to do that, but I don't know what color. And I don't know what I'm going to put on it yet, so we'll just hold off on that. So here's my... If I remember right from when I did make one of these when this bundle was first offered, let's put our little mini mini boss on the floor here. So I I used the die and I cut this out, and then these petals are partially cut. So you can lift those up a little bit and add some dimension to your flower which is what we want to do so you can see how the little petals lift up on your base pretty cute let's see if i can do this a little quicker on here and just those up otherwise we could be here all day making dimensional petals that would go much quicker ah, and then we can I think I will stamp the flower onto um, let's just go with this see I said whisper white from that designer series paper package and now it's stuck in my head so I'm gonna stamp it on basic white how's that mm -hmm. stamp it on some basic white and then we might be able to add a dimensional or two to the back of this and make this really resemble a hydrangea in the garden and that's coming spring is right around the corner we had a bunch of snow over the weekend. And we knew we were going to be dog sitting for the kids this weekend. So it really wasn't, we, we hadn't planned on going anywhere except I was going to Bunko Saturday night. My husband said, I can't believe you're actually going to go out in this. It was like a whiteout. And when I got down the road, it stopped. It was just one of those squalls. But, oh, I mean... Even Sunday at breakfast when we were talking about it, he said, he's had enough. And I don't think the weather usually gets to him too much, but, you know, we had that little taste of 50s and 60s, even up to 70 the one day. And then we went right back down to Kaka. Yeah. Kaka weather. Or did I just put my whites? have one cut there oh I guess I do I guess I do and let me see what do we want to use for our background we have some fresh freesia and Highland Heather's probably going to be the winner and Misty Moonlight see there's our pretty Misty Moonlight, that this is just such a perfect blue. I wish we were not getting rid of that. So we use some Highland Heather as a base to get going. Whoop. Try not to set that on there to squish. I don't want to squish down the petals that I just picked up. So we'll take an 8.5 by 11 sheet of cardstock and cut this in half at 5.5. And then we're going to turn and score it at four and a quarter. 
and that gives us a nice little card base. How about that? Give it a little score there. And then this is, I would say, uh, four by five and a quarter. I have a bunch of these cut and sitting right here, so let me double check. Yep, four by five and a quarter. And I think we will go ahead and stamp a flower. getting blue on everything all right so let me think about this for a second we are going to we're pretty much going to cover this up with our flower top and with our little flowers that we have die cut so mainly what's going to show then is the stem and the leaf so i guess i want to do this in old olive of course i could stamp it just in Memento, and uh, where'd my big block go? There we go. I just have a black border, but I, I don't know that I want a dark border on this, a dark stamp. And I don't know if I'm going to cut it out either. Huh. How about that? I don't know what I want to do. I don't know. I do have a piece of old olive over here that we could cut the, we could stamp and cut the leaves out as well. Hmm. Oh, maybe we will, maybe we will die cut it. And maybe use a piece of the designer series paper as a background. A lot of maybes going on here, huh? Maybe we'll do this and maybe we'll do that. Here's going to be our, yeah, we're going to have to do something for the leaves. And then we'll make some of these little petals. And what I like to do, or leaves, or no, petals. But each one really is a flower, it's not just a petal. Here, pokey tool. And I can take and just on my foam mat. We can give a little bit more dimension to all of these die cuts that came out of our little die just by pressing in the center. Give it a little twirl around. And we'll be able to add these to the flower wherever we want to to give it more dimension. We'll just add some dabs of glue when we get that far. Okay, so we're getting there. Am I up there far enough on the screen? Not really. <gasps> Shame on me. I'm so sorry. Here, let me pull this down a little bit. I said I was messing around with the light today because we had such a glare. I had it too far up there. Okay, so let's look for a piece of that designer series paper that this might look pretty on in the background. How about that one or You know me, I'm looking in the camera to see what they look like on the camera because sometimes that just makes it, I know it's weird, but I kind of like the blue. We also have in that, oh, the 
purple stripe's not bad either, though. That might be pretty. Let's do that one. Okay. Do we have a clue yet what we're doing? Mm, no, not really. If I die cut this out, am I going to have a strong enough background weight? I don't know about that. Let's not die cut that. Let's. Fill in our leaves with some old olive. We'll fill in the flower top with some Highland Heather. So that um, we won't see so much white on the background. And then we'll trim this down a little bit. <clears throat> oh, my stamp pad there. So that we'll be able to see some of the designer series paper in the background. Oh, you know what we could use? Oh, I gotta pull this forward a little bit. Sorry. I need to be able to line this up. And oh, I was gonna stamp off on some scrap paper. Um, I didn't want it to be too dark and then it just gives a pretty little sort of kind of a watercolor effect to the background that and we will do the same thing for the back of the flower. With some Highland Heather. Oh, I forgot I gotta line this up. Yeah. Kind of line it up anyways. It's not the oh back and knock off one of my little flowers. Um, there is a flattish side to it. Okay. cleaned off my uh, chamois so they're a little bit wet. That's why I keep drying them off with a paper towel because it's a little, a little sloppy there. Okay. Um, let's trim this down. How about let's use let's use one of those Stitch So Sweetly dies. Catalog stuff sitting here so that I'd remember to show the, the bundles. We want Stitch So Sweetly or Scallop Contours. Let's see which one fits around the hydrangea the best, I guess, will be my answer. So I hope everybody's doing good and that your weather is tending more towards springtime. Let's do this. I need to clean that die out. This is the scallop contour dies. And this is the one, if you remember, we were playing with this one day because that, this one, this die will make little, um, little slits in your frame for you, and you could weave paper in and out of it. So I was playing with that one day. I never did go back and do anything with that. Shame on me. Hmm. But anyways, I left that in there to remind myself 
to do that. And we have that pretty scalloped edge in this set too. But if I want this to, oh, let me see if this is gonna be, I may have to get another piece of designer series paper. I just pulled that one skinny strip out. Yeah, I'll have to get another piece. This isn't gonna show very much behind my stamped image. Oh, I wanted a piece of stripes. Oh, that was a pretty color too. Did you ever see the pink hydrangeas? We had one of those for my mother-in-law one year for Mother's Day. And it blooms so pretty. So pretty. Okay, so I don't know why I'm showing you that side. We're going to use the stripe side. I'm going to make a four and one eighth by five and three eighths. Five and three eighths. And that'll go behind our flower onto our card base. Then, let's see, I don't think this is going to fit through the mini because I think this is too wide. It is. Oh, and you can see why that mini one is handy because. The big boss here is pretty heavy duty. So I'm just going to cut my flower out with a bit of a scalloped frame is all we're doing here. If you don't have these dies or any die that you may want to use, just trim it up a little bit on your trimmer if you're going to add some pattern paper to the background. Since we were dog sitting over the weekend, I kind of spent time in the kitchen. Um, I wanted to make some bone broth and work out there a little bit. So my poor fingernails were just in water so much over the weekend. I tried to clean them up a little bit before I came on here this morning because they just looked horrible. I'm thinking maybe it's time for a manicure. I don't usually get manicures, I just do my own, but I haven't really taken the time to to pretty them up at all. Well, I guess it doesn't matter since now I'm getting ink all over them today. See? Isn't that pretty how it just makes that little skull up around the edge? It's nice. All right, so before, I was thinking about this this morning, I don't know, I'm in, a, I'm in a splatter mode again. Before we add our flower top, do I want to add a little bit of splatter to the background? And I guess the answer to that would be why not, right? This is going to go on here. That's going to go on here. I'm going to say, did I not cut that right? This will be our flower. One of our little posies sticking out there. And so, yeah, the white looks a little bit stark there in the background, doesn't it? So. One of those out of there. So let me grab my marker and everything that I just put on here I'll put away again for a minute. Grab my
And we have, we have the old purple posy. I think gorgeous grape is going to be too dark on there. I don't really want that much of a. <clears throat> this part's going to get covered up by our flower. So it doesn't really matter too much if I have ink there. This part is not going to get covered up. And I don't know that I necessarily want splatters all over the leaves. Maybe a couple, but I, I want that green to show. So let me just grab a little bit of scrap paper here and cover some of it up. And then I'll take my marker, and this is the Highland Heather. And using the brush tip, I'm just going to go and flick the brush tip out of the lid and get a little bit of ink on my background. Just going to take those off. That's better. I didn't want all my leaves to be covered. I don't care if it had a little bit of splatter, but all right. So that fills our back in a little bit. Now let's see how we're how we're going. Oops, I guess I should have wiped that off. Oh, that is better. Yay. Okay. So let's start putting this down because I don't think that I'm going to put my greeting directly on here. And as I said, somehow I want to incorporate the the little tag die that's on here, even if I just I don't know why I want to use that. I just do. I just do. Have all my stamps put away. Anyways, this was gonna say to an incredible woman, and then I thought that for Mother's Day, out of the happy and heartfelt set, there's a happy, happy mom day. And that's how I was going to turn this into a Mother's Day card. I can put my base down. My first pant on me that was going to do that. And I'm really running low on adhesive. I ordered more. And, um, I didn't even go on there. It's supposed to be here today, I believe. I just know that when I use liquid glue on the designer series paper, I want to do it very, very, very lightly because I don't want, I'm sorry, I'm shaking the camera all over when I hit the camera. I don't want um, the glue ridges to show. You're shaking bad today, camera. Oh. We could add dimensionals to the back of this, but I'm almost thinking I'm going to have enough with all of the little flowers. So let's just put this on flat. Now we can pop that up a little bit. Let's do that. Let's do this one and then we can glue our flowers in there and figure out then how we're going to make our greeting. Oops. So let me grab a couple mini dimensionals. I don't need the great big ones. I went out the other day before the snow came and I found a crocus in the front yard. We have one of those um, electrical, 
Well, actually, I think it's a telephone. I don't think it's an electrical. They're just poles that stick up out by the road. And um, I think when we first moved here, I may have put some bulbs in around that. And the only thing really that survived were the crocuses. So every year, <clears throat> I kind of watch for my little purple crocuses to show through there. And I found them, so I know that spring is coming. And I think I'm going to use my little fine tipper here. And I noticed most of the ones that I pulled out of there were the darker. I want some more of the light flowers to add into this. So let's curl a couple more of these. And then we know that if our flowers are near the back, they're going to be kind of darker. And when they get up more towards the top, they would be, although on a high grade, that's not true either, right? They're all different colors. They're just so pretty. I have a couple of high ranges. Mine are all the um, blue, purpley blue. And I do go out every year and near the end of the season and pick a few and hang them up to dry which are gorgeous but they make a mess those little flowers fall off everywhere I need a light one over here so we'll just add some of the pretty flowers to the top for some dimension Oh, and you know what else came with this suite when it was first available? Were those pearls, the hydrangea pearls, and I think I still have some of them. Get off of my take your pick tool. Thank y'all. See if I need any. Oh, that's pretty. Sure these are all on there. I even have extras to make another one. Here we go. All right. Oh, let me see the pearls. Oh, good Lord. And how am I going to add my greeting? Hydrangea pearls. Hydrangea pearls, look what I have. I have a lot of them. I paper clip them together even. Oh, look at that, that's what I should do. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I have enough of these that for my customers who order that bundle through March, 
in addition to your thank yous, I will send not the whole packet because if I have too many people order, this is all I have left. I'll, I'll share some of these with you and you can add them to your cards as well. Maybe like a strip so that you get all the different colors. I think this one was open. Yes, I'll leave those laying out so that I remember if any of my customers order the hydrangea set to send them some of those little pearls because they're just pretty. Yeah, this one is open. Why are you not coming out? Oh, because I, I went through a whole packet of them on the back. That's why. Oh, look at it. Aren't they pretty? Yeah. Okay. Focus, D. Focus. Um, okay. Let's do... I don't know. Why am I so determined to use that? tag. Does it really matter? I just like it. Yeah. And I don't think um, my Happy Mom Day, I don't think it's going to fit inside the die that is with this bundle. Use that one yet. The Happy Mom Day. No, I didn't. Oh, uh, where are you? That's Happy Dad Day. There it is. Let's get this snack out of the way again. Make it, um, let's label this one up. Oh, almost. That would have been bad. back of this again because we need to test out the waters here and see. Oh, watch. I am going to want to put that right on there. Happy Mom Day. Well, if I do that, though, I'm probably going to want to use Gorgeous Gray to make it a little bit darker and stand out better. That's the other nice thing about Highland Heather and Gorgeous Gray. They coordinate very well. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> so can I do this now that I put my flower on and try not to mess it up? Heaven help me, cross your fingers. Well, it doesn't stand out very well with my splatter on the background, does it? So I think what we're gonna do, there's always a, there's always a way to fix it. I mean, it's okay. I just wanted it to be a little bit more noticeable. So we'll just die cut this greeting out after all and add it. <clears throat> yeah. Now that I 
have every plastic container. What is clank? Oh, my light. That's going to drive me insane. Okay, let's close some of these up before I put my hands in them more. I always get my fingernails in the ink when I'm closing my lids. I hate that because then I smear it on my cards. I don't think that's going to fit. I didn't think it would. It's close, but not quite. And that's the die that comes in the set. So back to our scallop contour die. There was another small one in here that will fit. Woohoo! Happy Mom Day. Be pretty for an Easter card as well. Maybe I can make some more for that. My mother in law will be 95 this week. My mom's been gone for oh goodness, uh, what 14 15 years now? Long time, but I still have a nanny to make a card for for Mother's Day. That'll be better. Okay. That shows up just a little bit more, right? Let's save my tape for the next time. Put my dye back in the envelope so I don't lose it. Add a couple dimensionals to this. And you notice that tag's still sitting there, so I don't know what I'm doing with that. Mm-hmm. Still sitting. There we go. Papers got stuck on there. Ah, weird. Weird, weird. Come on. It'd be pretty with a little heart maybe on it, but I don't know, maybe I'm not gonna get to use my little tag on this card. I'll use all the dark ones. Line up in a row. Oh, look, it fell off right there, so I guess that's where it's going to go. <laughs> but it works. So, what do you think? use the stamps and um maybe how big is that tag there oh i have to do my inside to incredible woman and that is from this stamp set mom day away there are a few more of those cards for um, some friends. Incredible. Um, and I'll just keep it in the gorgeous grape since that's what I did the 
front on. fuzzy on there. Yeah. Put my stamps back in there since I've had them out. I haven't lost any as it is. And where's my color? Come here. Come here. I like the dimension. I like the little flowers sticking up all over. Again, this would just be so pretty to even make a simple stamping card. Just stamp your flower, add a background stamp on there of, you know, um, either a coordinating color or a stamped off. Again. We have a couple minutes, so let's do because I do like that effect. I don't know where I put my big black. And I guess, oh, you know what I have? Let's use, let's use Smoky Slate. Smoky Slate's not as dark as using Memento Tuxedo Black. It'll give us a nice outline, but it won't be stark black against our pastel colors. So Smoky Slate's a really good option. hands are a wreck. I look like a, a school child. My goodness. Like I don't know how to use ink or something. Good grief. Okay, and then let's fill in with To Highland Heather and I'll stamp it off once. So give me my little my little cheat sheet here that we were playing with. Very dark. Maybe I didn't need to stamp off once. So let's turn it and give it um, a different stamp sign. Well, that worked. And one. The whole stem with the leaves. I have to do each leaf individually. I'm going 
like I got that top leaf. See, just with some simple stamping. Look how quickly you can still do a, a pretty card here. Oop. I do like stamping my greetings in a darker color. And why I just opened that and laid it in front of my completed card is beyond me because I don't really want it to fall over and land in the ink. that one down. Um, let's go three and three quarters, I guess, by five. So I'll just take a little off of each side to get it where I want it, because I'm going to layer this again on some designer paper. Give it a little bit of color in the background. How about... Um, I, I can't believe how much ink I have on my fingers. That's just embarrassing. Terrible. Four with my four and an eight, my five and three eighths background. Triangular card cut. And look how quick you can get this card together just with some, oh, look at that. Well, let's do that side. Yeah. Looks like there's an upside to it though, doesn't it? Yeah, my leaves look more like they're going, oh no, there's one going down. I think that looks up. I should have moved that over just a hair. We have, oh, they're both gorgeous grapes. I wasn't quite sure if I had two different colors or if they were the same. So let's pop this 
one up on the base. Come on. You're almost being difficult. I hadn't planned on making two cards today. Pull my little peg out of there. Oh, stop it, right? That's enough. That's really just annoying. Peg out again. Oh, is that just a little bit too long? And how about just a little glue dot here? Have some of the blue. Ooh. From the um, the background paper. And honestly, that could have done with a little splatter too in the background. I think I would have splattered with misty moonlight. what happens if I try to do that. Do we have? Oh, we have Night and Navy. And Blueberry Bushel. No. Oh, no. Oh, but I have Seaside Spray, which is an old one. I don't have Misty Moonlight Marker. It was all dried up. Isn't it crazy how it just adds enough in the background to make a difference? There you go. Just takes away that stark white background for you. Oh, where did I stick that other card? And there we have a simple stamp card, just using stamps without our dies. And we have our dimensional card with the hydrangea flowers all standing up. So I hope that you enjoyed today and go out and check out some of those bundles that are on sale right now through March. And everybody have a great week. And again, happy St. Patrick's Day to those of you who celebrate. I think everybody does, right? I don't know. So thanks for being with me. See you again next week. Bye, everyone.